up in Stuttgart as Svetlana Boganskaya prepares for her favorite apparatus, the beam, the 88th Olympic champion, fifth in Barcelona. One thing about the stylist Svetlana Boganskaya, she is truly a master of this event, but if you watch her moves, the transitional moves, the difficult tricks, she's so fluid and always so confident. For the young gymnasts out there, this is where they can truly learn the specialty of Svetlana Boganskaya and the choreography, paying attention to detail. Again, tricks are important, but the choreography, the dance elements, those are as important. I have a feeling we'll be seeing a lot more from Svetlana. There is rumor that she's planning to attend the World Championships coming up in Birmingham, England. Well, no question, she'll be the anchor now of the Belarusian team. You mentioned Jester's watching her. I wonder if Stella Ume is watching to pick up any more nuances uh, for Stella's playful impersonation of Svetlana. A complete package to this executed superbly. This was one of the highlights of the routine, I must say, her mouth. It's a blind move, very well done, and she's right on the beam. 9.9 .9 for Svetlana Boganskaya. And here's the 92 Olympic beam champion, Tatiana Lysenko of Ukraine. Second to Svetlana, the all-round here. And that beam gold medal must have been special for Lysenko after having a disaster on the beam at the 91 World Championships in Indianapolis. Chris, he's always been a beam specialist, and you'll see why in a minute, but he's had problems putting it all together at some of the major international competitions. Again, the Olympic gold was uh, a, a real highlight for Tatiana. In comparing beam routines, we just saw Svetlana Boganskaya. You'll see why some of the younger gymnasts and some, some of the more difficult skills that they're performing, and this is her first series. Three layouts in a row. That's tough to do. The balance beam, again, only four inches wide. The trend for gymnastics and certainly what the judges will be doing in the future is trying to recognize and reward some of these athletes for doing combination skills such as what we just saw from Tatiana. And along with the big skills, there's innovation, a very big part of the sport. for the Olympic champion putting it all together in today's competition, Chris. This was certainly one of the big highlights of her beam routine. That four skills in a row, but three aerial movements, and she was dead on. A winner of two Olympic golds and a bronze and a 9.925 here for the lead. Li Li from Beijing, a member of the Chinese team that finished fourth overall. I mentioned Luli a little earlier. She was the silver medalist to uh, Lysenko in Spain on the beam. If you thought her bar routine was creative, check out that skill. I wouldn't recommend that for too many people, especially you, Chris. Oh. Now, Li Li comes from a very long line of Chinese greats on the down beam, in particular the, the big name a couple of years ago was Yang Bo, and she's certainly carrying on with this tradition.
Hermes gymnasts have a very different style. They're very exact in their movements, almost a perky-like style. This is what she's known for as well. Back spin and her incredible flexibility. and a very exciting gymnast to watch. I enjoyed her performance, especially this move here. That's a one and a quarter spin to a backdrop. And of course, she shows up just a little bit of flexibility. Wow. 9.9 .9 for Lee Lee. So she ties her one of her idols, Svetlana Boganskaya, for the silver. Tatiana Lysenko, the Olympic gold medalist, wins gold again. to the men, the beauty, the grace, and the power of the women's floor exercise.